Hey, boo-boo. You ready for a little walk down makeup lane? I don't know about you, but I find makeup quite intimidating. But you know what? I don't let that hold me back. And I recently got this new Urban Decay Cherry Palette. Sweater smells bad, man. And I'm gonna test her out. No, I'm not gonna So of course I have to make a disclaimer at every single video because I cuss a lot. No, just kidding, because I'm not a makeup artist, okay? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know why you're trusting me. If you really wanna find out real information about how people do makeup, go to a makeup artist, not a food blogger. <clears throat> Joke's on you. But hey, if you do trust me, I'm here for you. I'm gonna show you how to use a little pink on those little sexy lids of yours. Let's do this. Okay, today I'm gonna start with some makeup primer. I love Tula makeup primer. It's my absolute favorite. That doesn't do shit. I don't know how makeup girls do this. I've already done my whole skincare routine, eyes. I put on at least 47 serums, you know, not excessive at all. Oh, oh my nose itches. Oh, fuck a dick. So I'm gonna start with Hot Spot. This is the lightest color here. So I'm gonna put this lighter color on my lids, okay? Just give it a little bit of brightness, and then I'll bring this a little bit up onto the lid. Next, I'm going to use a color called Juicy. We're a little bit on the peachy side here. You know, juice it up. Okay, so I'm using this Juicy color, and I'm going over the whole lid. Juice it up, juice it up. The biggest thing, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing when it comes to makeup, but I know a good tactic is to blend. Come on, Juicy, let's go. And I bring it up right where that crease is in your eyelid. I start bringing it up, and so as it goes up the lid, it gets a little bit lighter. Now, next color I'm gonna add is Feels. It's right next to Juicy here. And I'm going to put that right in the crease of my lid, and I'm gonna kind of build it up. Okay, so we built a little bit of a darker color here, and so then I can kind of blend it into the lid. Next, I'm gonna do a little darker tone right in the crease to create this dimension. Yes, this little darker pink here. And then this is going right in the crease. And I'll do this darker color right in there. And then guess what I'll do? I'll start blending it up. And we're building, we're building, we're blending. I wanna take just a little darker color, just a tad, and we're gonna do this privacy. Privacy is the darkest color on this palette. So dark here, and then I'm gonna go, whoop, right in the crease, just a tip, just the tip of it, you know? Now, I wanna go a little lighter up top, and so I can kind of blend it together. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the hot spot, and this is when you're gonna blend these colors together to go up to the eyelid without having this super dark color on top. Take that hot spot, that lightest color, and just blend it up. Look how it matches my sweater. Now, let's start doing some makeup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet this blender sponge, I already did, and then squeeze the extra water out. I love Well People Tinted Moisturizer, but something they're not great at is their packaging because their tube gives you about half the product and then you can't get the other half out. So I had to cut the tubes open and I had to put it in a jar. Look at this, look at this camera. Janky, you know, janky. Sponge it on and you really don't need much and I'm just gonna sponge it out. Now, I like to do my under eyes because my under eyes are always darker. So, I use this beauty counter. This is their touch up concealer pen. So I use this concealer pen under my eyes and then I also use it on any zits. Adult acne is a real joy. So now, touch these up, get a little going. Touch these zits up, get them going. Get them going. We're off to the races. So now I need a little color. Let's get some bronzers on. I really like these beauty counter bronzers. I like to get a little bronzer in here and then I just kind of pat it in so I can blend it up and I don't get any of those streaks that kind of happen. Then the forehead. Now we got a contour, you know? 
gonna act like I have cheekbones and I don't know how to really contour my face. I don't know how to do that, do you? So what I do is I use a darker bronze color and I kind of pinch my brush together so I have a bit of an edge here and then I'm gonna come right below my cheekbone and I'm just gonna get a little swipe up. Okay, a little darker at the top, a little darker on the sides. Voila. Next I'm gonna have some blush and I am loving this Mineral Fusion. This is their duo, bronzer and blush duo. I personally just like the blush. It's a really light pink. It's nothing overwhelming, but I like a little color on the face. Not everybody likes a little blush, a little rouge, and last but not least, highlighter. I love it. I just want that light to pop. Boom, boom, bitch. I have this beauty counter highlighter. So I just dab it in there, and then I just do right above the blush, right underneath the eyes, a little dee, a little do. Now let's do the eyebrows. The eyebrows need to be a little bolder. I like to use this Anastasia. This is their, her brow gel. I think it's called that. Dip brow pomade, duh. So once I come up with my liner, I come and just shape the brow up and over. And then I start to just fill it in just a little bit just to give it more color up top. And then I can finish the brow up top just a little bit. Okay, I got my brows done. All done, now we gotta add a little bit of liner. I got this Revlon Colorstay Skinny Eyeliner. Now I like to take the eyeliner in a super thin line and I just end it right at the end of my lid. I don't really do a wing tip because I suck at it. One wing is going up and the other wing is going out and so it doesn't work. Here we go, we got liner on both lids. It's very subtle, it's not too in your face, it's not fucked up wing tips. Okay, for my lash game, I'm using these Kiss Lashes. You can get these at Walgreens. This is where I buy them usually. These are the Page Boy Lashes. I'm using this eye glue. This is another Kiss product. This is their Premium Strip Eyelash Adhesive. I love this one the most. I feel like it stays the best. All I'm gonna do, hold them here, and then we're gonna do just a little line across. Got a nice even line on it, and then you wait. The white of the glue will start to become a little bit more translucent, and that's when you'll know it's ready to stick on your eye. Now, what you'll wanna use with these lashes is tweezers. It makes all the difference. Okay, so holding the mirror down, I can take that lash, put it right to my lid, and I push it down in the middle. Then I can take the lash over towards my eye, and then I can take the other one. Now you can take the back of the tweezer, press the lash into your line. There we go, easy peasy, kind of, sometimes, not often. Now, I added mascara already to my top eyelashes. You don't have to do this. I think it just makes the lashes all blend together really well. And then I'm gonna add some mascara to my bottom lid. It's just a little bit, and so they match my top. That's it. Now, of course, we gotta do lips. Get them popping. Look like Kylie Jenner. Sadly, no. I like to over draw my lips. I want them to look bigger than they are. So I'll go just slightly below my lip line just to make them a little bit bigger and then on the top as well. Now, start with the crease. And then I take the liner and I just fill it just a little bit in to the lip. So this is a lipstick by Beauty Counter. This is the brunch color. So I'll just fill that in. There we go. Okay, bitch. Oh, look at that. So much bigger than they actually are. Yes, 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 queen, 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 queen. Uh. How do we feel about this? Oh, it's bold. Bold glam, fun color palette. Hungry for lunch at this point. Jackson! Hopefully you like that fun little tutorial of me not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. Nah. Oops. Thanks for sticking around. Now, I'm gonna take this sweater off because it smells like B.O. mixed with a little crunchy, spicy Dorito, okay? Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Mixed with a hamster wheel. Bye-bye.